News 8 is beginning a series of reports on dementia. It is very likely that if you are watching me right now, your life will be touched by this disease, either as a patient or a caregiver. The Alzheimer's Association says that in 2014, one in three families will be affected by a dementia diagnosis. 5.4 million people in America have dementia. 400,000 people alone in Pennsylvania. People are impacted by this disease because we know it's increasing and we don't have a way to treat, cure, or slow the disease. Now, I thought I understood dementia until my husband was diagnosed with early onset Lewy body dementia five years ago. And I came to understand that dementia is much more than memory loss. In fact, the early warning signs of the illness may begin with physical symptoms. Well, Sandy Morris of Lidditz came to understand this too when her husband was diagnosed with Alzheimer's at the age of 46. It was a lot of physical and spatial issues, that, not memory issues, that we noticed early on. It started out slowly. Little things here and there that simply did not add up. Signs in hindsight of something terribly amiss. I noticed even when he was still teaching, um, he was having a little trouble getting dressed. He'd miss a belt loop. He'd miss buttoning a shirt. You know, nothing major, but that was a physical, spatial thing that he was struggling with. The memory thing was fine. His personality at that time was fine. But as the days ticked by, Sandy and her husband knew there was something wrong. This strong, athletic father of Maddie and Tyler, this beloved teacher of students at the Warwick High School, had trouble grading papers, completing a task, typing, even his handwriting changed. Then at the age of 46, a diagnosis. My kids were in 8th grade and 10th grade. We were teaching Tyler to drive at the time. You know, and here we're dealing with an Alzheimer's diagnosis in the middle of driving lessons. On this day, just four years later, Sandy comes to visit her 50-year-old husband in a memory care facility. This is a lockdown dementia unit where patients are monitored and cared for hey, around the honey. clock. Hey, honey, how are you? Good to Yeah, look who else is here. <laughs> Maddie's here. Yeah. Yeah. This is dementia. <laughs> how are you? Good. And it is so much more than memory loss. You want to go walk? Yes. Okay. Sandy and her daughter Maddie visit with Kurt. That's good. Come on. And then Sandy gets Kurt caught up with the family. You're looking at colleges. Good. And she was playing lacrosse. She did good. Yes. She did great playing lacrosse, actually. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's sweet. I'm so tired and tired of it right now. You're tired? Yeah. Dementia has stolen Kurt away. For Sandy, he's here, yet gone. The Kurt we have now is so much a shell of the man I married. So it's a struggle because physically, yes, he's still here. But, you know, I, I think I'd said to you earlier, I have, you know, probably at this point, 10% of my husband left. All right, now he's your favorite. That's awesome. So often people will come up to me and say, um, well, does he still remember you? I'm like, yeah, he totally still remembers me. Every time I come there, he's forgotten my name, but he calls me his honey. Knowing people is not the issue. He can't walk right now. He struggles even just walking, shuffling his feet. He can't feed himself anymore. And I miss being married in so many senses. He's here physically, but he's not here emotionally by any means. And so we've kind of had to well, we can. rise up and take on the challenge of Keep living life, though. We don't have a choice. And I am deeply grateful to Sandy and her family for sharing their story. It is difficult. But in doing so, they bring this disease out of the darkness and into the light. And while there is no cure, early detection is very important because there are many different kinds of dementia and each has a special type of treatment. So if you would like to learn more about the early warning signs, go to my Facebook page. I have a link there for you. And Ron, it's really easy to see the emotional toll that it takes on family, but there is a tremendous financial toll as well. Unless you have long-term care insurance, which many onset families, of course, do not, 
It, all of the care is out of pocket, so that runs on average from six to ten thousand dollars a month. Oh my, it's clearly a burden in more ways than one. Yeah, it's yeah. really devastating, and it's devastating also for caregivers. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow night, in the second part of my series, we're going to meet a caregiver. She's 54. She takes care of her elderly mother, and how she's really working to carve out and claim her life at 54. All right, we'll look forward to that. Okay, thanks. We head to break now with a live look from our Harrisburg SkyCam. The storm team forecast is just minutes away.